it is believed that the launch of the Infiniti QX4 was a response to the Lexus LX450 model. Both of these brands, however, there is also a FET, Acura, were created by the Japanese as elite, intended primarily for the American market. The hero of our material was not designed from scratch and generally resembles the Nissan Tirano, produced for the North American market under the name Pathfinder, although it would not be entirely correct to consider the QX4 an upgraded version of Pathfinder slash Terra, since the differences between them are very significant. In 1996, Nissan's luxury car division launched the Infiniti QX4 five-door SUV. The basis of the QX4 was the Nissan Tirano, offered in North American and some Asian markets under the name Pathfinder. The SUV from Infinite has a different front-end design, bumpers, arches, and wheels. The mono-frame technology was used in the body structure, combining the advantages of a load-bearing body and a frame. The car was equipped with a 3.3-liter petrol engine, 170 horsepower, aggregated with a four-speed automatic transmission. At the beginning of 2000, the model was restyled. The main changes were made to the front end, as well as bumpers, wheels, and optics. A new 3.5-liter 240-horsepower engine began to be installed on the car. The standard equipment includes xenon headlights. In addition, the steering received a hydraulic booster with a variable gain. In the transmission and chassis, everything remained almost the same with the exception of the new electronically controlled automatic transmission. In the domestic Japanese market, the QX4 is sold under the name Nissan Regulus. Before moving on to the features of this model, we note that the QX4 is a very reliable car, and the vast majority of its breakdowns are caused by improper operation. For example, installing wheels of different diameters leads to failure of the viscous coupling of the transfer case, unsuccessful forcing of a deep Ford, which the driver was too lazy to pre-measure, threatens at worst with an engine water hammer, and at best with various failures of numerous electricians. The strictest quality control of assembly and manufacturing of parts ensures the model a permanent place in the top five most reliable mid-size SUVs in the United States. So, according to the results of 2001, it recorded only four defects per 100 cars, while the Ford Explorer Sport Track had 44 of them regular maintenance of his thoroughbred iron horse. I would also like to clarify that this SUV is subject to special warranty obligations for the entire car, for years or 96,000 kilometers, 60,000 miles for the power unit, six years or 112,000 kilometers, 96,000 miles on the body from through corrosion, seven years without mileage limitation. As it should be for a luxury model, it is difficult to call the salon anything other than luxurious. In its decoration, high-quality leather is used, combined with wooden inserts. By the way, not only the seats, steering wheel, door panels, but even partially the central tunnel are sheathed in leather. The operation of the ventilation and air conditioning system is also on top, moreover, in cars of recent years of production, a special filter is built into it, which traps allergenic plant pollen. Of course, there is also a very extensive electrical package, including power windows, mirrors and a sunroof, seat heating, power seat adjustment, a Bose high-end music center, a display of the cabin and outboard thermometer and a number of pleasant little things. To accommodate small items, various pockets and drawers are provided, and the luggage compartment can be separated from the passenger compartment with a special mesh that does not allow the load to fall on the heads of passengers or the dog to arbitrarily move to a comfortable rear sofa. For the comfort of rear passengers, the seat back angle can be changed. As for the driver's seat, it is simply excellent, a person of any build will comfortably accommodate. On the steering wheel with an implanted airbag, there are control buttons for various systems. With passive and active safety, everything is also in order, special body deformation zones, pillows and a number of other systems are responsible for this. The only thing that owners, or rather, drivers, don't like is the location of the spare wheel on the floor of the trunk. Getting it out of there is easy but putting it back without getting dirty is problematic. In addition, if the spare tire is not touched for several years, especially when operating in dirty and salty winters, then you may encounter the following trouble. The mounting system turns sour and does not want to give up the wheel. This is solved by disassembling and lubricating the elements of the mechanism. Two petrol engines were offered for the QX4. Until 2000, a six-cylinder V-shaped engine with a volume of 3.3 liters and a power of 170 horsepower was installed, and after its change, 
a new 3.5 liter 24 valve V6, which already develops 240 horsepower. Such a significant increase in power with almost the same volume was made possible thanks to variable valve timing, a variable length intake manifold and a whole range of modern solutions. The new V6 is equipped with platinum spark plugs, which have a factory life of 160,000 kilometers, alas, so far such an indicator is unattainable in our country, because even a single refueling with average fuel reduces the life of these long plane candles. However, candles are just a consumable, and therefore the overall resource of engines is much more interesting. But since very little time has passed since the launch of the model, it is not necessary to talk about specific figures yet. In general, with proper maintenance, engines live a very long time. Separately, I would like to mention the turbo diesel, which, however, is the prerogative of the domestic Japanese market, where the QX4 is sold under the name Nissan Regulus. This 3.2 liter and 150 horsepower unit, but the environmental friendliness of the exhaust and the level of vibrations is considered one of the best diesels in its class. Its power system uses a modern EDI, Nissan Electronic Diesel Injection, injection scheme. The main advantage of the QX4 is the multi-mode all-wheel drive transmission, which allows the driver to puzzle over which control stick and where to move in certain road conditions. And for driving on a slippery road, the viscous coupling of the transfer case, which distributes the torque, can be manually blocked, and then both axles will receive the moment equally. This is very convenient, because in this mode, the automation will not be able to put a pig unpredictably shifting the moment from the slipping wheels to the standing ones. By the way, such initiative of the transmission, when the clutch is not locked, can lead to a loss of control over the car when passing through a really slippery turn at a speed close to critical. Since this SUV is not parquet, its transmission has a reduction gear range. A limited slip differential is installed in the rear axle, which increases the off-road capabilities of the car. Just in case, we clarify that for its proper operation, special oil is needed. In addition to full-fledged rogues, occasionally there are simple rear-wheel drive modifications. At first glance, they are almost indistinguishable, but they are much cheaper. The car was equipped with a 4-speed automatic transmission and only by request could be equipped with a 5-speed mechanics, American, after all. Recommendations for checking that the machine are more than traditional, it should quickly and smoothly shift gears and respond with the kickdown without delay. The suspension of the model is nothing outstanding and is quite common for an SUV of the early 90s, in front, independent, and in the back, dependent with a powerful axle beam. With a quiet ride, they do not remind of their existence for a long time, only the stabilizer bar bushings rarely nurse in our conditions more than 30 to 40,000 kilometers. In terms of characteristics, the suspension is atypical for a car oriented to the North American market. It is characterized by moderate rigidity, no roll and allows the car to hold the road well. However, we must remember that the independent front suspension really does not like deep clay ruts, stumps, stones, concrete blocks and other joys lurking on the floor with mud, snow or high right. But if there is clean sand or speck under the wheels, the QX4 shows excellent off-road qualities and, most importantly, such off-road does not lead to any consequences. In general, this is one of the most inexpensive use luxury SUVs which is found in our secondary market quite often, but not so much as to lose the exoticism of an overseas guest. Nearly all of the items sold on our secondary market come from the United States and the canals, although there are occasional cars from other continents. Buying a good, not running QX4 is not difficult, because, as noted above, its owners do not spare money for quality service.